looking around the island, there's dozens of examples. Roddickton used to be Easter Brook. Campbellton was formerly Indian Arm. And Cavendish was Shoal Bay. But there were other changes made because the people were embarrassed by the name given their community generations ago. For example, in 1913, the people of Cuckold's Cove, Trinity Bay, changed the name to Dunfield. They were embarrassed because the word cuckold refers to a man who is deceived by his wife. A few months ago, the people of Gayside, Notre Dame Bay, decided their community's name was embarrassing. Even the town's mayor admitted the old name didn't fit in 1985. Like a, and I've been in places myself, Larry, where I refuse to tell the people where I'm from. I would say maybe from Lewisport or from Birchie Bay. And if I say Gayside, people will look at me queer. Today, Gayside is called Baytona, a name that's neither embarrassing, nor descriptive, nor historical. Meanwhile, over in Trinity Bay, the Gayside issue prompted one resident to ponder. If Gayside is embarrassing, what about Dildo? I was after winter, my foot broke for two months, and I was just lying around, and it came up with Gayside, right? It was on the news at the time. So the idea struck me. I wonder how the people feel, uh, around here feel about uh, living in Dildo. So Alford made up a petition and carried it around town. He's got quite a few names now and figures he'll have a majority before long. But some people say they're signing the petition even though the name Dildo is not an issue with them. I signed, yeah, against my better judgment probably, but I did sign. Why? I don't know, uh, other than uh, for the younger, younger people, young kids moving out uh, you know, in, into other parts of the, the country. Other than that, I, I, I'd prefer to see it as it is. What is the problem? And although the adults say they're doing it for the youngsters, well, uh, this young fellow has thought about it, and he's not bothered. Well, I personally feel that it shouldn't be changed because it, it was good enough for people before, right? So I think it's good enough for us now. The community name is a subject of great interest to Lloyd George, a lifelong resident. He's thought about how the name originated, and although there's no positive explanation, he thinks the name is too good to change. To me, Dello is, is uh, so, so good that uh, I, I wouldn't even consider changing it myself. No, no, uh, you know, for instance, can you imagine people in St. John's changing their name because there are John's on the market years ago, people use John's? Can you imagine people living in other parts of the states in Canada, living in condom, minions? So they're associated with condoms, so why, they're not going to change condominium. Even if the name of this community is changed, the word dildo won't disappear from the map. Nearby, there's South Dildo, and there's also Dildo Pond and Dildo Run. Ann Budgel, CBC News.